Maureen Demler, Deacon at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Thank you for joining us for our daily gospel reflection. Today is Friday of the third week of Lent. Let us pray. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel lesson is taken from the Gospel according to Mark, beginning in the sixth chapter at the 47th verse. When evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and Jesus was alone on the land. And he saw that they were making headway painfully, for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, have no fear. And he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves but their hearts were hardened. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land at Gennesaret and moored to the shore. And when they got out of the boat, immediately the people recognized him and ran about the whole neighborhood and began to bring sick people on their pallets to any place where they heard he was. And wherever he came, in villages, cities, or country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and besought him that they might touch even the fringe of his garment, and as many as touched it were made well. Here ends the lesson. What is today's gospel about? It's about being in big trouble and wondering if you'll make it out alive. I've wondered that. Have you? It's about the way you could believe you deserve it. You've been stupid. It serves you right. I've thought that. Have you? It's about beating back panic while you calculate your chances and bail water. I've bailed and bargained. Have you? It's about being so tired of rowing against the odds. It's about who climbs into the boat against those odds, drenched with tenderness for you. It's about the one who says, don't be afraid and peace be still. It's about how it feels when adverse winds subside, about being dazed by the calm. Do you know that feeling? What it's like to live again after you've become accustomed with death? It might be a story about you. I know it's about me. And maybe for us all, its ending should be a beginning, the start of a new story. 
when we realize there are still rowers out there floundering and scared. When it occurs to us, maybe we could walk to them on water. Thank you, Jesus, for rescue, company, and calm. Show me the floundering ones still at sea. Send me. Amen.